Hey, it's Michael from Mark Smarter. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Launchpad to vibe code custom tools in Revit. Now, Launchpad is my new app for Revit that teaches you C Sharp and the Revit API. With Launchpad, you can write and run code directly inside of Revit. No additional software is required. And if you haven't heard, Vibe Coding is an AI-first approach to creating tools and software. It relies heavily on an LLM, or a large language model, such as ChatGPT or Claude. And this LLM is heavily tailored for coding. Now, instead of writing each line of code, you're prompting the LLM, testing the code it creates, and evaluating the results. It's a much faster way of working, and it lets you rapidly prototype ideas and concepts. The Launchpad pairs well with a Vibe Coding approach because it's integrated directly in Revit, and it outputs feedback in the console as you code. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Launchpad. And you can see here I have a code editor window, I have some lessons and instructions, and I have the output window. Now I'm going to just close down the lessons pane, and I'm going to give myself a clear slate to work with. Now I'm going to switch into a split screen, and then I'm going to pull up my browser. So Claude is my LLM of choice, and here I have a custom project in Claude that's specifically trained on Launchpad code. I've given it instructions on how to format code for Launchpad, what special capabilities are available, and some sample scripts it can use for reference. Now what I want to do is I want to create a custom tool that will add a piece of text below all of the room tags that lists the room's horizontal and vertical dimensions. So for my prompt, I'm going to use the following in Claude, and let me cut and paste this in here. What I'm going to ask it to do is I'm going to ask it to create a script that will add the text note below the room tags in all the rooms in the current view. And the script should check and make sure it's a floor plan. And then it's going to calculate the room's dimensions from its bounding box and display them as a length and width in architectural format. Now I want it to center the text note horizontally and just use the default text note type. So I also am asking Claude to be efficient with the code and provide only minimal error handling. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit run. And Claude's gonna create what's called an artifact and generate all of that code for me. So let me speed things up a bit here. All right, and there is my script code. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to the clipboard. I'm gonna switch over into Launchpad and I'm gonna paste it right in. You can see it generated about 96 lines of code in very short time. So I'm going to click the run button and we'll see how it did. So you can see it added the dimension text to 17 of the rooms. So it got all of the rooms. It's in architectural uh, format and it did use a large uh, quarter inch text note type. Probably not the type that I would want, but it did what I asked. It gave me uh, exactly all those text notes and it positioned them right below the room location point. So not exactly uh, below the room tag, but the room location point. So not too bad. Now let's do a variation on this script. I'm going to switch back into my browser and let me close the artifact and I'm going to modify my prompt. Let's say instead of adding text to just the current view, I want to create a tool that can add text to the current view or all of the floor plan views in the current model. And I want to be able to specify the offset distance of that text. And I also want to have some controls in here so I can ignore rooms if they're considered too small. So I'm going to update my prompt and I'm going to ask Claude to create a user interface uh, with radio buttons to select the view scope and sliders so I can set the room dimension threshold and the offset distance. And you know, while I'm at it, I'm going to ask it to create a combo box so the user can select which dimension style to use. So here is my revised prompt. I'm going to tell it it did a great job. I'm just going to be polite. And then I'm going to ask it to make those modifications. I'm going to say this version should have a user interface and I'm going to be very explicit. The user should be able to set the offset distance using a slider and here are the values it should use. The user should be able to set the minimum distance threshold and I'm going through and asking it to generate all of these user interface controls. So I'm going to go ahead and click run. Claude's going to do its thing. It's going to create an artifact with the code and I'm going to fast forward through this code creation part. All right, so it just finished up. I'm going to 
copy the code to the clipboard. Then inside of Launchpad, I'm just going to go ahead and clear the window and I'm going to clear the output window as well. So here's the code that Launchpad generated. And the code right here, let me scroll to the top, I can show you where it's actually generating the user interface. Basically these, this code right here. One of the benefits to using Launchpad as a platform for Vibe coding is that it comes with a lot of built-in functions for creating user interfaces. So using these functions, I can very easily compose a user interface with just a little bit of code. You can see uh, there's only a handful of lines. I have methods here that allow me to create a header or create a label or the, the radio buttons. If I did this writing the code out manually, it would take a lot more code. So I'm able to stand standardize it very easily with Launchpad. So I'm going to go ahead and click run and we'll test it out. So here is my user interface. You can see add room dimensions. I can set my scope here. I can set the offset distance and I can, let me make that a little bit bigger. Um, I can choose too if there's a minimum distance as far as the threshold. And then lastly, I can choose my text note style. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, eighth inch. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cancel this. Let me undo. There we go. I got a clean slate so we can see our text notes. I'll give this another run and let's go through here. We'll just choose our text note style, eighth inch, and I click OK. And it's telling me it added the text notes to 17 of the rooms and there they are right there. So a little bit better size. They're fit. They're fitting right below uh, and fitting within the size of the room. And I could go through here and I could do some variations. I can run this and maybe I want a different offset offset distance or maybe I want to play with uh, the minimum distance. I don't want this vestibule, for example. But I can go through here and make those modifications. And I can also do some back and forth. Maybe I want it to do uh, all floor plans and ceiling plans or make some modifications. So now I have a custom tool that I created in you know, less than 10 minutes. And I can go ahead and I can just save this script file here in Launchpad. And I can reuse it anytime I want. Now I'm working on another version of Launchpad called Command and this is a more advanced version. And within Launchpad I'm building in uh, an AI chatbot that you'll have access to. And it also includes uh, tools to be able to export you know, your scripts directly to the ribbon. And then also potentially export it to Visual Studio so you could create it as an add-on. Now, I'm going to have more information about Launchpad Command shortly. It's still uh, early in beta stage, uh, but I'll have some information out soon. So, wrapping up. When used with a platform like Launchpad, the Vibe coding approach can be very effective uh, and a very effective way to create custom personalized tools that it work exactly how you need them. And while you don't need extensive programming knowledge to Vibe code, it can be helpful to understand the fundamentals. If you want to learn more about C Sharp and the Revit API and try your hand at some vibe coding, go to www.arcsmarter.com slash launchpad to learn more. I'm Michael Kilkelly. Good luck out there. Keep working smarter, not harder.